Hi, I'm John Sia. I'm currently a high school sophomore and I live in New York. So the problem I'm going to be addressing is COVID-19 because especially in New York, we've been hit really hard and everyone in the world definitely has been hit hard. But especially in New York, we've been hit hard by COVID-19. So I've definitely went through, went through a lot of difficulties. So the uh, the piece I'm going to be reading is called Working From Home by Michael R. Whitney. And it's just a piece talking about how like the reality of working from home is so different from what like we, we thought it would be like like typically like when when we had work normally and school normally like we would always just like imagine how great it would be to be working from home or taking school from home but like in reality it's not that idealistic and this piece addresses that so i like to challenge eileen moo and ella wang and so yeah this is the piece working from home i remember the days when i'd speculate that working from home would simply be great no need for the car the tie and the suit no need ever again for that daily commute I could work in my jammies or wear nothing at all, and never once worry about the boss down the hall. I'd only dress up when I'd be meeting on Zoom, then I'd just have to clean a little part of the room. And how great it would be with no one to watch, as I took a nip now and then from my bottle of scotch. But now that it's happened, my dream hasn't come true. Cause working from home is like life at the zoo. A big cage of monkeys couldn't be any worse. The noise and congestion drive me to curse. With everyone here, there's no peace and quiet. It's not at all what I thought when I wanted to try it. Alas, working from home, I get nothing done. And what's even worse, it's not that much fun. Now I yearn for the days when I went off to work. Working from home, it turns out, was the dream of a jerk.